I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator section. College Board is asking about a bicycle racer, and Dana has a function f of x equals 100 minus 18x that gives the number of miles Dana has remaining x hours after she starts the race. They're asking for an interpretation of f of 2 equals 64. One option is to read carefully where it says f is the number of miles Dana has remaining and x is hours after she starts the race. So we want to find one where the 64 is miles remaining and the 2 is hours since she started. In A, 64 is miles ridden, not miles remaining, so that's not correct. In B, 64 miles remaining in about two hours, that's hours remaining, not hours since she started, so that's not correct. Choice C, when Dana has ridden 64 miles, but we're talking about miles remaining in f of x, not miles traveled, so C is not correct. And D, two hours after Dana starts the race, that's the correct measurement for x, she'll have 64 miles remaining. That's exactly what we identified. Alternatively, you can make a table x, f of x. I usually like this option. It turns out to be less helpful, but I wanted to illustrate it because it does come up often. After zero hours, either from your graphing calculator, scientific calculator, or by hand, f of x is 100 minus 18 times 0. 100 minus 0 is 100. After one hour, f of x is 100 minus 18 times 1. 100 minus 18 is 82. And after two hours, f of x is 100 minus twice 18, 100 minus 36, and that is 64, as they told us. If you try this table here, if this were right, it would also make sense to say Dana rides about 100 miles in the first zero hours of the race, and that's nonsense. We would reject that. The second one, Dana will ride the last 64 miles in two hours, so she'll ride the last 82 in one hours, in one hour. It doesn't make sense that she'd ride 82 in one if she only rides 64 in two hours, so that can't be right. Choice C, when Dana has ridden 64 miles, she has about two hours remaining. That would suggest, that would actually be correct. So it could be the correct answer. And choice D, two hours after Dana starts the race, she has about 64 miles remaining. And that would be correct. Either one of those could be correct, so we're only able to eliminate two choices by making a table, but we did eliminate two choices. If you're still unsure, you can go with a 50-50 guess, or you can now reread it where choice C is talking about miles ridden and choice D is talking about rem miles remaining. And we see that the function f models number of miles remaining, so that is choice D. College Board will ask you to interpret this sort of word problem in context. So make sure that you can read through and identify why each answer is incorrect. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.